scenes as inspired by some of our winning photographs. Matt blows away the cobwebs with a bracing dip. It's so challenging. It's like swimming up massive hills all the time. The Brighton Outdoor Swimming Club is the oldest swimming club in Britain. Its members swim every day, all year round, in all weathers. It's 7.30 in the morning, and while most are struggling to get out of bed, this intrepid bunch are about to set off for their daily dip. What a very good morning, team. How are we? Good. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. I have to say, I feel completely yeah. overdressed. Like, is, it, is this a good morning for it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Not too rough. Prefer it to be a bit flatter, but it's OK. And of all the things that you could choose as a form of exercise, why do you, <laughs> why do you opt to go for the, the you know, swimming in the sea option? It's free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just a really lovely sense yeah. of sort of being in touch with nature, really. The sea, the coldness makes, makes my body tingle. Yeah. And uh, it just sort of lasts for most of the day. It's a lovely feeling. Right, time to take to the water. It's really, really nippy in there. At this time of year, the sea's at its coldest, only five degrees above freezing, which means they can only stay in there for ten minutes without risking hypothermia. Good. Really yeah. Nice. yeah. Feeling OK? Good? Yeah, feels good now. Yeah. In Vicarage? It's cold now, but not once before I got in. Really? Yeah. I'll get cold in about five minutes' time, right? <laughs> right, okay. well, yeah. you better head up there, then. I will. Was yeah. that, was that yeah. one all right for you, then, Sam? Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. Yeah. But there's more to it than simply kick-starting your day, as anaesthetist Dr Mark Harper knows. Oh! <laughs> How was it this morning? Fresh? Fresh. Oh, there you go. Is that what, you, what you'd say? <laughs> Just give us an idea of the health benefits of the sea. Um, oh, quite a lot, actually. Yeah. Um, the, the main one, really, is probably uh, that uh, on the immune system. It's been shown it, it improves the function of your white blood cells. Uh, people who swim in the sea all year round, all through winter, get less chest infections than uh, people who don't. Uh, it also has a strong effects on the hormonal system. Things like noradrenaline, which is a, a bit like adrenaline. It really gives you a buzz. And this kind of buzz lasts all day. And this is, when I first started swimming in the sea, this is what I really noticed. God, I'm just buzzing all day. It's sounding more and more enticing, but before I take the plunge, I'm off to get some inspiration from channel swimmer Fiona Southwell, who became the oldest woman to swim the channel at the age of 50. I put on a stone and a half for my channel swim. You know, you do need that fat. It took me 20 hours to swim the channel. I was burning 6,000 calories an hour, but being fed 10,000 calories an hour by my feeds, and I still lost half a stone. There's a section in the middle that's particularly difficult. The separation zone, yes, it's right. between the English and the French shipping lanes, and that's quite a difficult stretch of water. 25 right. mile an hour winds and huge white horse waves. But it was, you know, I loved that. I just rose to that, you know, because I've trained here for years in quite rough seas. So it didn't vex me, whereas it, it did vex quite a lot of other swimmers. And yeah, because there was a few out that yeah, day. Yeah, five, five other swimmers, I think, that day attempting it, and I was the only one to get across on that day. And for all of those people that will be sat watching this, thinking that you are absolutely mad to go in and swim in the sea, what would you say to them? Oh, you know, it's the most uplifting, exhilarating experience, the feeling of well-being afterwards. Having said that, I do fall asleep in the afternoon <laughs> in these temperatures. <laughs> yeah, it, is, it is a huge shock to the system. I've got a little surprise organised for them a little bit later on, but in order to experience this sea swimming for myself, there's just one thing for it. I'm going to have to get into the water. Well, I'm not that stupid. Paul, in all seriousness, it is pretty dangerous getting in the water at this time of year, in the sea. Absolutely. There are swimmers that swim all year round without wetsuits, but they are swimming every single day of the year, and they're gradually acclimatising their bodies. If you haven't done that, and you're just taking a dip, a wetsuit, two swimming hats, a pair of gloves, essential. I'll tell you what, there's some big ones coming in here, uh, but it's time to cuddle up and get out there. The cold I was ready for, but not the rough conditions. The wind kicks up an enormous amount of jump. There's one. It's so challenging. It's like 
swimming up massive hills all the time and to maintain the front crawl. Okay, Matt, it's seen it. Here we go. We're heading to a pontoon where I've got a treat in store for my fellow swimmers. Oh, yeah. Woo! Made it to the pontoon. I tell you what, that is exhausting. We're back in the 1880s. An eccentric member of the swimming club set up tea parties on pontoons just like this one. A welcome break for everybody. Now, it's a little bit shopping today, but <laughs> we're catching cups and we'll get a flask full of tea, so let's celebrate. And up we go, lovely. There's one. Hey, there's one. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Come on, flask, please. Woo! From the Victorian bathing huts of yesteryear to the channel swimmers of today, the wonderfully eccentric adventures of the Brighton Swimming Club look set to continue.